Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Age of Engineering, some 1.10, a mod of Minecraft, and man, oh, we are taking care of business. Finally, it's time. Check this out. Between the episodes, while you all were offline and I was online taking care of business, we have finally made our nine basic fusion crafting injectors. Oh man, it makes me so happy. Uh, we need some of these, yes. Let's see, what else do we need? Uh, I don't know, 20,000 RF per tick. I think, I think that we are going to use, hmm, I don't know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use that thing over there, that calculator plug deal, to produce power to run our fusion injection deal. So we got to think of a place to put it, and I have just the idea, we're going to go up here upstairs, it's where our extreme reactor is, it's where this crazy setup is, and man, let me tell you, this thing is taking care of business. That is for sure. Okay, let's put this back in here. Do I have a bucket? Yeah. Let's just grab one bucket out of here. And we'll go over here like this. Uh, yeah, 137 buckets of UU Matter with more coming every day. Oh my goodness, we can do all the things. That's for sure. We gotta get rid of these, I guess. Okay. We'll take these down down in the basement and stick them up where the rest of these guys are. I have a feeling I'm maybe missing one or two of them, but... Mm, okay, yeah, they're all there. And I gotta get rid of these two. These just have tons of junk in them. Uh, yeah, tons of scrap. What are you gonna do with that stuff? Alright, let's go downstairs real quick. And we will just put these guys down here in a pile. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, ages. Ah, uh, so we're missing one. Well, it looks like maybe the Stone Age might be missing. Nah, it's okay. Nah, we're not worried about that craziness. Please be quiet, chair. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's what I think we're gonna do. We're just gonna go set these guys up up here. We also need the fusion... Oh... This. Okay, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> Empowered Palace Crystal. Oh, that is not good. Okay. Well, we might as well go down here and see what we've got. Let's see. Palace. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four. Okay. What was that thing? That's super easy. We got that going on, that's for sure. All right, let's see. Fusion Crafting Core. We need one of these guys. So we need some Wither Diamonds. One, two, three, four. And we need one of these. Do we have one of those? No. Okay. Draconic. We can make one, though. Okay. Okay, start. Okay. And then this guy goes here in the middle, and we get one of these fusion crafting cores, which is exactly what we need, right? Okay, do we have some blocks? We do. We have some dirt. Uh, let's throw some stuff away. You guys. We need to use that. We'll be, the salt can go away. This bucket can go away. That can go away. Okay, all right. So we're going to set this thing up, up, up here. And I think this is going to be a good spot. We're just going to do it over here in this corner. Maybe in this corner. Yeah, I think this corner might work like we want it to. All right, so if we put down... Let's put down one of these. Okay. And then we can stack these guys. So one there, one there, one there. And then we can go like this, this, and that. And then, whoop, 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 oh, dang it. <laughs> and then like this, okay? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. All right, and now this thing here, this crafting core, has to be right in the middle. All right, so I kind of like when those are, like, hovering. Yeah. All right, let's go around the back side here. And we're going to go like this. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And then, it doesn't matter really how many blocks, just a couple. One, two, three, four. Maybe four? Okay. And then this guy should be able to go like there. That's in the center, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we'll break these. Now we've got our fusion crafting setup. All we have to do is provide this thing with some power. So I think... Hmm. I mean, we need ridiculous amounts of power. I mean, we truly do. Hmm. And it's going to be somewhat bursty, right? So it's almost like we need a big store. So let's take a look at capacitors. Capacitor banks. Vibrance. Okay. Those aren't too expensive to make. I mean, octatics are a little expensive, but not too bad. Let's see. Vibrant. No. Vibrant alloy. Can we make this? Yeah. Let's make, like... A bunch okay we'll start that process okay because I think we need to get a bunch of these things we also need to go downstairs because what I'd like to have is like I don't know maybe uh, maybe four of those is what we need and we can get like a hundred million RF kind of on standby here let's go and do a whole run of these guys make out a bunch of these basic capacitors so we can convert them into what we need the other thing we probably are gonna need is some electrical steel let's make I don't know like that much of that okay we have to do some of that so that's okay all working fine now I do want to tell you I had to increase the size of one of my crafting CPUs down here this guy um, you can't really see. Yeah, you can. Well, I just added two more of these 4K crafting storage because I didn't have enough capacity, even with no other crafting jobs running, to make these those fusion injectors up there. So we had to get that done. So that's not, not a big deal. All right, capacity, capacitor. We want to make these, right? All right, vibrant crystal is that. Okay, that's super easy. Yeah, all this stuff is not difficult. Yeah, yeah, we can make those. So we just need to wait until some of these crafting jobs are done. And then my plan is to get like four of these things. And maybe we'll just stick them in the wall. One, two, one, two. Maybe we could just do the whole wall of these. That would be eight. Okay, yeah. And all, like I said, all we need is the ability for now just to have some some capacity like a store so we can rip out all of this power into these guys and we're gonna be good to go so if I go over here there's that thing yeah and I can just run it essentially down straight down let's get a shovel out oh yeah that's a bit of a problem isn't it Okay, I mean, it's not a horrible problem. It's not that big of a deal. Of course, it's nighttime. So we want to sort of get power into that. So, because I want to use that locator power system to drive. Well, I mean, it's all going to be together. We're going to expand the size of that thing here in just a minute, I think. Or somewhere. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, calcul calculator. Um, we have... A bunch of locators and we've got some plugs I think we need 28 of these things let's go over here and take a look at this guy real quick one two three four five so if we want to expand this another round right so we have do so we need seven and seven which is 14 oh 24 24 more of those guys to get uh, a seven by seven crafting thing going on here so that'll work um i think what i want to do is okay we have to go over anyway okay maybe two blocks Okay, 
and then we will take this out. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna cover all that back up, but we are gonna run power cable. Let's see, let's turn, let's take this guy and we're gonna go straight from him and we're gonna say you were gonna be extract. I don't know if we really need to. Um, always active, okay. And then we wanna run these guys. All the way across, right? No. I never know. Oh. Um. Now we've got to go this way, like that, right? All right, we could do some like temporary block stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's get rid of these. And then we can go back outside. Oh, okay, uh, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, awesome. And now we can just come back along here and cover all these up, right? Oh, hello, frame rate lag issue. And we'll just cover all these guys up like so. Perfect. All right, now let's take this down. And this should bring this whole thing offline. Okay, stable stone. And we will go like this, and like this. I think I'm going to go and break. I'm gonna break that guy. I wanna sort of take this thing offline if I can. Okay, so let's have a ring around the outside. Okay, good. And then we can go like so. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Okay, let's see, do we have some more stable stone? I'm pretty sure we do. Stable, yeah. We have 30 more. Okay. So let's go ahead and just keep building these out here. And then, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go up a second row. Okay, so we hope man, I hope we have enough. Let's go over here and look in here. Stable stone. Oh yeah, we got stacks on stacks. Okay. Well, not really stacks on stacks, but we have plenty, I think. Okay. And then we can do like this. Okay. Perfect. And then these are plugs. And we could do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And let's go in here. These are plugs. Okay. We have 21. That should be plenty. Put 
these guys in here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now we need, what are these things? Um, these are like stable circuits, right? Man, I hate the fact that I can't get up there very easily. What are these guys? Stable circuits. So we're gonna need, what was I, what did I say, 24? Okay, so let's go first of all and put this, 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 oh, we need that thing, but that's okay, we'll come back and get it. And this guy and that power cell for now and that. And we'll open up our bag and we'll put that, that, oh, that needs to go in there still. Um, we need to keep that. We don't need that. Or, yeah, we might need that. Okay, that might be enough. So 24. Is that, and they just need to be stable, so they don't have to be anything special. Let's go over here and let's see. Which ones are the stable ones? Stable. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, so there's 24 of those, or 22 of those. Then we just have to go along each one of these. Oh, nice. We just right click them in. Okay, just two more. I think about what our first fusion craft thing is going to be. Okay. So those are all good. All right. And then we need just our locator, right? Locator. No. Here. Locator. We need a calculator locator like this. This will work. And we can go like that. And we can put okay active false i think it's active at the moment because it is not producing power right it doesn't have to produce power at the moment okay and then i just want to take this guy uh let's see where was that this power cell and we're gonna put him in the in line somewhere, right? Uh, this guy. So we'll just stick stick him like right here, and we'll say you're gonna be in. All right, just so this guy has power. All right, and then oh, is that not what we wanted to do? Uh, that's okay. Yeah, we'll just zig it around. That's fine. Uh, conduit. Let's get the good stuff. Yep. Okay. And then we'll go something like. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's see if we have all the pieces parts so we can make... Oh, hello. Okay. So now we need capacitors. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's go down here and grab these guys quick. Okay. That's probably going to be enough. Okay, and now capacitors. So we want to make, uh, what was it, eight of these? We want to try to make that many of these big daddy ones? Okay, so that means we're going to need eight times four, 32 octatics. Uh, we have, we're going to need 32 of, no, 32 octatics. We're going to need eight of these. Okay, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then these we should be able to make. Okay, we're gonna make more than that, but that's fine. Okay, good. And then, let's see. We have everything except for the capacitors. So let's take a look here. So if we wanna make double layers, and how many do we need? 32, so we're gonna need a stack of these. Okay, so that means we don't, we need coal dust, 
All right, let's craft ourselves. Yeah, that'll work. And then alloy. It's whatever this stuff is, right? So let's craft ourselves. <laughs> that should be enough. Available, available, available. Start. Okay. Okay. So let me get all this stuff crafted. That's still working. That's still working. And, okay, so just these two guys are working at the moment. Yeah, and it's coming in. All right. So let me go off camera for just a second. And we'll, I'll sleep through the night. And then uh, we're going to get all this stuff crafted. We're going to come back and make these capacitor banks. We're going to make ourselves an awesome, like, wall of them in that window up there. That'll be 8 times 25. It's 2 million or 200 million RF that we can store. And plus whatever we can get in at, at approximately 25,000 or whatever these transfer rates are on these. And then we'll see if we can't do our first diffusion injection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I've been doing a little bit of crafting. Look at here. So I have 32 octatic capacitors. I should have all the electrical steel I need, I think. And we want to make eight of these. Can we make eight? One, a two, a three, a four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Let's put those in there. Okay, we want to do that. Turn this off just one second. Okay, let's get these capacitors back out of here. Get these guys. We don't want them charging up. That's why I did that. I, just, I want them to be able to uh, be placed. Uh, let's sleep through the night real quick. Didn't even take notice that it was getting to be nighttime. And now all we should have to do is hook these things up and we should be good to go. I sort of thought that maybe, just maybe, I'm going to set these up there on this ledge up there. Uh, let me grab some dirt. Uh, because I, I I don't want necessarily all of these to get connected. because I, And I need a little bit of space. So let's just go up here on this ledge. Like that. Yeah. And we can hook, we can, not necessarily on the ledge, but let's put them like along here like this in one big mass. Now that thing will hold 200 million uh, RF, which should be plenty for what we need it for, that's for sure. And we can also use that to help us charge, right? Oh, I should have went back up there. Now, if everything is working correctly, man, if it's not, there's going to be, I think there's going to be a huge explosion <laughs> if this is not right. So let's put these guys along here. And then like that, and we should get, so how much power are we getting in here at a time? 18,000 RF a tick, so that means that that guy down there is probably working, because remember, this guy is set to out, or to in, so he's not uh, transferring power. Oh, 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 dang, okay, wait a minute, get out of here. This is a sketchy little hole. So let's go over here and look at this thing. Okay, and that thing is turned on, so let's see. Yeah, 13,000 uh, RF per tick. That's eh, not too bad. I'll take that all day long. We could we could even expand this again if we need to. But 13,000 RF per tick is not too bad. It won't take too long. I mean, that thing's already got 20 million RF in it, so it won't take it too long to get filled up. And this guy right here will siphon off some of that power if we need it for around the base. Yeah, boy. Okay, so now all we need to do is go up here. And we're going to just punch, I think maybe for now, we're just going to punch like one hole through this thing, through the glass. Punch the glass out like that and go like this. Okay. And we want to make sure this guy right here is set to output okay and then this guy is set to extract always active okay so now these things should be getting power and it should be distributing it all around throughout that thing right I mean, there's no RF that shows in here because we don't have a valid crafting recipe now here's the question let's see what we can craft we can do in this thing just to test it and make sure it works I mean I sort of want to make start making some of these materials for sure so let's see let's make something wyvern something 
How about we make... What do we need most of all? I mean, we really don't need any weapons. I mean, this thing does 20 attack damage right there. And this bow is... Man, it's not too bad. That's for sure. So maybe we should make our first piece of wyvern armor. Like uh, boots, maybe? They're probably the cheapest. So we need some draconium ingots. We need a wyvern core. We need a wyvern energy core. Oh, man. I forgot about those crazy things. Okay. So, let's see. Do we have a recipe for this wyvern energy core? Wyvern. Wyvern energy core. No. Okay, so I think we need to make one. Let's do a couple things. Let's get... Let's get the crafting recipe done, because I think we know how to make most of these things, with the exception of these guys. Let's just do a repeat run, and we just need two of those, is all we need. No, we're going to need more than that, aren't we? Let's just grab these, and we'll let that run out the rest of the way. And we can make capacitors all day long with the amount of UU matter we have. That can all go away. Okay. So if we go up here, and we do pattern, let's put these in here, and we will craft us 20 more. Just so we always have them. I mean, it makes sense to me that we would do that. Okay, so we need a wyvern... Wyvern energy core. This. Okay. So we know how to make that. I think we know how to make uh, ultimate control circuits. Do we know how to make those? No. Okay. Well, here we go again. Down the rabbit hole. So ultimate control circuits are these. Okay, maybe that's not the best thing to start with because I'm going to have to do some work off camera to get all of this stuff set up properly. Yeah, yeah. Or should we just do it now? Huh, we should probably do it now. Okay, so tantalum. Let me see. How much tantalum do I have? Not very much. Hmm. Okay. We're going to have to go figure out where we got tantalum from and go back. So we know how to make those things. Okay, circuits. Circuit. So we have to make these. We know how to make reinforced alloy, right? Uh, let's see. Alloy. We know how to make this. So we can make two of those. And then circuit. Oh, is that what that is? Okay, so we do know how to make those. So we need the ultimate, and so do we know how to make atomic alloy? Let me see. Atomic alloy. We do. Okay. Or no, maybe we don't. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, so we're not too far away. So we just need a, we just need a recipe for these guys, right? Ultimate control circuits. Okay. And what goes in the middle? An elite control circuit. So we can make an elite control circuit. Just one for now. Oh, <laughs> look at all that crazy stuff we need. Oh, good grief. Okay, let's let that run, and let's go upstairs real quick, and just take a look and see how this thing is doing. Yeah, 100 million RF, and that doesn't take long at all. I mean, it's going to make some of these fusion crafting recipes the ones that are like big money. I mean, that's only 256,000, but if we look here, I mean, that's, but even that's only 4 million. Draconic is 256 million, so, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, they're going to be sort of slow and steady between them, but that doesn't really matter because it's going to take forever <laughs> to get to the point where we can actually make those, right? So, okay, let's go back to circuit. These guys, ultimate control circuit. Okay, let's see if we can make a pattern. Uh, ultimate control circuit you guys all go away and then we'll go like this and we'll go here ultimate control circuit that requires tantalum plates too okay tantalum plates we're gonna have to go find some more tantalum it means i guess there's gonna be a a trip where is this stuff from is it aries aris yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to go to Eris. We're going to have to go back to the space station. It's been forever since we've been in space, but man, it's going to have to happen. We're going to have to get tons of tantalum. Okay. And now, are we up here? No. Okay. So, circuit. And we need to tell it how to make ultimate control circuits. 
like that okay and this can go in our molecular assembler do we have an open spot we have one open spot okay okay there's probably some stuff we could take out of here like this we don't need to have in there well maybe we do I'm sort of nervous to take anything out of there yeah, well, I mean, we could probably clean that up at some point, but all those are used like downstream for recipes, right? So, okay, so we're going to look at these wyvern boots, right? That's what we're going to make. So we need a wyvern energy core. Okay, so let's make, we have, okay, we have that, we have that, we have that, all that stuff. Okay, so wyvern energy core is this. Do we know how to make, oh my goodness, okay, demon metal. All right, so let's make ourselves a block of that. Okay. Energy uh, core. Live energy core. Okay. Uh, we know how to make uh, octatic. One, two. Okay. And then we should be able to make this. Okay, so there's that. We don't know how to make that. I mean, technically, we should get some recipes for that. Yeah, we'll work that in. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, Wyvern Energy Core. That's what we're making. And I think we know how to make these tablets, right? Tablet? Yeah, okay. So we can make one of those. Look at all the crazy stuff we need. It's insane. Oh, my lord. <laughs> it's so much stuff. Okay, that's the only thing that's crafted though, just that energy tablet. We gotta make this, we got, oh my goodness, we gotta make all this crazy stuff. Okay, but it comes through pretty quick. It's not the end of the world. All right, now we wanna go, get rid of this, go up here, and we already made the pattern for that. And now a wyvern energy core. Ultimate control, okay, we need um, ultimate control circuit we need one of those you go off and do your thing guy okay wyvern one of these okay so then we can get a pattern for that oh my goodness okay so some of this stuff we're still not going to know exactly how to craft but let's see if there's something in here we can get rid of maybe that we don't necessarily need I mean, technically we don't need this pattern anymore let's let's put this one over there because we shouldn't need to make fusion deals anymore and we'll save it though we won't get rid of it okay so now draconic no um wyvern boots is what we want to make let's make a set of these okay wyvern boots uh oh Where's our ludicrite? Do we not? Don't we know how to make ludicrite? We do. Oh, we have one of those. Okay. What's the deal here then, guy? Okay, wyvern boots. We need to make one of these. Okay. So we need some more draconic. We need two of these. Start. Okay, that's done, that's done. Okay, we just have to wait until this crafting is done. What is it doing right now? It's making these, okay, done. All right, now, oh my goodness, wyvern, let's go up here. A wyvern boots. And let's make a pattern on how to make these, okay? And then we need to go ahead and craft one. Okay, and then we should be able to now make these. Next, start. We should be able to make these boots. Come on. What's it waiting for? Let's make it for these things. I would drink some, uh, not coffee, not drinking coffee at the moment. I'm drinking ice water because let me tell you what, in my recording studio, uh, it's about 90 degrees out here. I'm wearing a tank top and a pair of shorts and uh, drink a water like a crazy person. Wyvern, this goes in here like so. And 
No, not there. Uh, we can actually just do that. There we go. Bang. So there's our boots, right? And now the question is, what's our first upgrade that we can do on these guys? We can make them go to Draconic. We're not ready to do that yet. I mean, that's maybe the, the next thing we can do. But we also have... Um, okay, we can't... Oh, we do have upgrades. But we don't want to really do that. So let's see. Draconic. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. What Awakened Draconium is going to require. One, two, three. Okay, we can actually do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 350 million RF. Okay, so Draconic, we need six of those. Start. And then Draconic or we're going to need... Let's actually just take like some of these. And let's go ahead and get these smelted up. And put them in the furnace. Yep. So we're about to have our first set of Draconic armor. I know we're getting long in this episode. Man, this is a big step. This is what all of our crazy work that we've been doing forever has all led us down to. Which, man, is exactly what we want. So, Draconium. We're going to need... One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to need this. And we got the rest of these to craft. Okay, I mean, it's coming along, though. Refined Obsidian. Yeah, it's working on it. It's a little slow but steady. So it's 350 million RF. I mean, that's going to take a while, but at least we can see it happen, I think. Yeah, that thing's clear full. That's nice. Yeah, so we're going to have to increase the capacity. We probably need to make like another eight of those. And so it'll hold, what, 400 million? And at least it'll be there. Okay, Draconic. How are these guys doing? Are these still coming along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we have two, three more of these. These take a little bit of time to make. Okay. We need two more of those and we're done. Some of the stuff I should maybe craft up like, like a whole bunch of it. Okay, one more. And then those things will be done. We also got to get end diamonds. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Draconic, these guys. Okay, so we're not going to upgrade our new fancy boots that we made, but what we are going to do is get rid of these. You could go there. Let's separate these like this, 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 this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need this, Dragon Heart. And then we go here and we put these guys in here. Pedestal tier too low. Oh, are you kidding me? What level? Wyvern. Wyvern fusion. Wyvern core diamonds. Okay. Okay. Well, let's make, let's upgrade one of these things then. How about that? You like Apple's game? Okay. Ah, we're getting long in the episode, but it is what it is. Oh, by the way, I need to... Where's my battery? There it is. Let's uh, shift-click that guy back on. No. Okay. All right. Let's go down. And we need a Draconic... Draconic. We need a Wyvern core. No. Uh, core. <laughs> we need one of these. Right? Okay. Let's make some Ludacrite. Ludacrite. Let's make one of these. Start. Okay. This goes in the middle. Like that. Okay. And then to make a... Fusion. To make... Wyvern level. We need basic. One, two, three. Okay, and we just need eight. Thank goodness. Uh, draconian block we have. We need four diamonds. 
one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Let's do this quick. Let's do this thing. Let's take one of these. Okay. And we'll go in here. We'll take this out. We'll put this in. Okay. We need one of these. Like so. One, two, three, four. We need one, two, and then this. Start. Okay. Okay. There it goes. Our first fusion craft. Oh my goodness. This makes me so happy. So happy. And we have to only repeat this eight times. Oh my goodness. This is, it's, it's kind of, I, I know I say this like every episode. It's absolutely out of control. <laughs> There's no question it's out of control. Oh my goodness. I mean, I may just have to get all the recipes done and then just craft up a bunch of each. Right? I mean, that's the only thing I could think of doing. Okay, let's see. Just about done. I don't know how much power that used. I mean, it's still full, so that didn't use very much power at all. And we now have our Wyvern Fusion Crafter. Oh, bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so we have to do this eight more times. Not a big deal. Man, let's get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Age of Engineering series, where our patience has finally been rewarded with a fusion crafting setup. Oh, man. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.